So in this video, I'm gonna talk about privacy codes on our GMRS radios and just kind of explain how they work and give you a demonstration. So privacy codes aren't really private. They're not gonna let you have secret communications or private communications with your radio. So we gotta reframe the way we think of privacy codes and think of them as more of a filter and less as anything to do whatsoever with privacy itself. So it's a way to filter communications on your radio. And honestly, the best way for me to describe this is just to show you this and show you how this work. So over here, I have two Radioddy GM30 Plus radios. I also have this Bofang UV5G Plus, and they are both, or all three are set to the same GRMS channel, channel 10, so they're all on the same frequency. And right now, none of them have any privacy codes. So what I'm gonna do is just demonstrate a basic broadcast. So you can see the GM30 Pluses are receiving a transmission, all again, all on channel 10, the same frequency, same GRMS channel. And then what we're gonna do is start programming in some privacy codes so you can kind of see exactly how this works. So with that said, let's get started with the demo. This is Whiskey Sad 245 radio check over. So you can clearly see and hear that both of those GM30 pluses were able to receive the communication. You also notice that the green light at the top lit up and that's because that green light is just an indicator that something on that frequency is coming through. So that green light is going to basically show no matter what, whether you have privacy, privacy codes programmed or not. However, the backlight that lit up and also what you hear through the speakers, those are what are actually affected by the privacy codes. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna just program in one of the GMRS radios, the GM30 pluses, I'm gonna program in privacy codes and then we're gonna broadcast again, do another radio check so that you can see what happens. All right, so I programmed in a privacy code, a CTCSS code of 67 kilohertz on one of the Radioddy GM30 Pluses. So you can see what happens when I broadcast now with a radio that does not have a privacy code as well as one of the other GM30 Pluses that also does not have. So again, just one of the GM30 Pluses has privacy codes and you're gonna see what happens. This is Whiskey Sad 245 radio check over. And you can clearly see that only one of the GM30 Pluses basically opened up its speakers. The backlight came on to indicate communication. But if you notice, still on the radio that had the privacy code uh, programmed in, obviously did not open up the speaker, so you couldn't hear any communications. And But you could still see the little green light at the top light up. So I just want to kind of show that there is still a way to see if stuff is still being transmitted on that frequency, even if you have a privacy code programmed in. So again, this radio that I'm holding and that I'm transmitting from does not have a CTCSS or DCS privacy code programmed into it, and therefore it was not sending that with my transmission, which means the radio, uh, the GM30 Plus that did have the privacy code didn't see that uh, privacy code, therefore it didn't open up the speaker for that communication to come through. So to continue the demonstration, what I'm gonna do is program in the same CTCSS code we put on the GM30 Plus on this Bofeng UV5G Plus, and then I'm gonna transmit a radio check so that you can see what happens. This is Whiskey Sad 245 radio check over. And now you can clearly see that both radios are receiving the transmission, opening up the speakers so that you can hear the backlight comes on. And that's because this radio has the privacy code uh, programmed into it. The GM30 Plus that had a privacy code saw the privacy code and just went ahead and opened up its speaker. And because again, we're filtering, it's looking for that privacy code, right? And then the other GM30 Plus doesn't have any privacy codes, so it doesn't care. It's just gonna communicate and send through the speaker whatever it receives on that frequency. So this leaves us with two radios that has a privacy code programmed into it and one that does not. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swap the radio, this radio, which has a privacy code, for the other GM30 Plus that does not have any privacy codes. And then what I'm gonna do is broadcast on that so you can see what happens on the two radios that do have privacy codes. Can you take a guess what's gonna happen? Leave a comment below if you can guess what's gonna happen or not gonna happen. All right, so now I have the Radioddy GM30 Plus radio. This does not have any privacy codes. And the two radios on my desk over here are the Bofeng UV5G Plus and the other GM30 Plus. Those two radios do have privacy codes programmed in. So we're gonna see what happens when I broadcast from this radio. This is Whiskey Sad 245 radio check over. 
And you can clearly see that there was no speaker open. They did not open up the speaker because they weren't able to detect the privacy code uh, with this radio because this radio doesn't have one programmed in. So they just kept the speaker closed. They didn't allow the transmission to come through. But if you notice, the little green light still lit up. So that still is an indicator that something is being broadcast on that frequency while you have pro privacy codes programmed in. Now what I'm gonna do just to kind of wrap this up is program in the last radio to have the same uh, privacy code as the other two radios. And then I'm gonna do a radio check and we'll see what happened. All right, so I programmed in the same CTCSS privacy code on this radio that the other two radios have. And now I'm gonna broadcast a radio check so you can see what happens. This is WhiskeySat245 radio check over. And you can see both the radios filtered that privacy code, detected that privacy code, said, hey, the same privacy code on that broadcast is the one we have programmed in our radio. Let's go ahead and open up the speaker and let the communication come through. So this is kind of a wrap to the demonstration on how privacy codes work. I hope now you have a better understanding of exactly what they do and do not do. So as you can see, if you don't have any privacy codes programmed in on a frequency, you can listen to everything on that frequency, even radios that have um, the privacy privacy codes programmed in, right? So you gotta think of them more as filter codes. Again, they're filter codes on your radio, which are gonna allow your speaker to open up and allow uh, you to listen to that communication that was sent with that privacy code. So thanks for watching everybody. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.